Have you ever wondered how can I put a switch button on my USB cable? Or even I will do it myself, but it's a USB 3.0 cable. What if I mess things up? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can easily do it with a male female 3.0 Type A cable and a simple switch button. Yeah, like the one you see here. First of all, we're gonna need a USB 3.0 cable, male, female, and we're gonna cut it in two. After that, we're gonna expose every single little cable that is inside of it. And as you can see here from the table, we are interested in the red and black one, that is the power and the ground power return. Those two cables need to be switched by the buttons and the others just need to be reconnected to the other side. We are not interested in the plastic cover or in the shield, just in the colored cable. As you can see here, I reconnected the red and the black one with the switch button. All we need to do now is to reconnect every single other colored cable, one with the other. Then we wrap it with the isolating tape. Now we can just close the button and try it. Here I connected my external hard drive. After switching on, the first thing you're gonna see is the USB to SATA adapter. And when the hard drive will be ready, you will see it popping up. Here it is. I made a little benchmark using Crystal Disk Mark. One with the USB cable directly connected to the computer and another one passing by my new switch button. Here you can see the results. Let me just put these files one next to the other so we can compare them. As you can see by the numbers, there is not all this difference. There is no evident performance degradation that we can see. Well, at the end, I'm very satisfied about this job, and I wish you all the best with yours. Happy switching!